Hey guys, Kevin again from Metalworks Institute, and I'm here to demonstrate analog versus digital further, except we're going to make some sounds. All right, first let's just set up a sound on the Voyager here. We're going to use uh, different oscillators, like maybe two sawtooth waves, and get those turned on. There we go, and we're going to listen to this beautiful filter here. Bob Moak's famous for. Okay, so we're sweeping through. Now let's add a bit of a percussive element to this. So I'm going to use some of the envelopes here to adjust things like volume and the filter frequency over time here. So nice little plucky sound. Okay, so that's nice analog pluck. It has some good warmth in there. Maybe open the filter a bit here. You kind of get a better feel for how you can make this filter a little more aggressive. Okay, so that's just kind of playing with the uh, oscillator section, a couple of sawtooths being. Um, ran together into a mixer and then the filter is kind of changing the timbre, changing the harmonic content of it. And then finally I have the envelopes that are adjusting how the sound evolves over time. So, And here I'm going to do a similar thing with Thor. I'm going to grab two sawtooth oscillators. They call them analog oscillators, but we know now that it's a digital oscillator inside the computer. Um, now, we have two sawtooths selected, and we're going to kind of listen to the same kind of tone here. Okay. And here's the filter sweep going through the frequencies. You can kind of hear how different that might be from analog. It has a bit more precision, uh, a bit less randomness like the analog synth, because the analog has um, electronic inconsistencies, whereas digital is... Uh, precision through binary numbers. So now let's kind of get it plucking like we did before. So we're just playing with the amplitude envelope now. This is a percussive kind of quality we have going. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the filter's frequency. We're going to pluck it so it has a bit of an aggressive kind of start to it. So here's that. That's the filter envelope amount, how much the envelope plucks the filter. You have that kind of plucky quality which they share however when we go back to this guy actually I didn't increase the resonance let's try that here yeah there you go you got the kind of resonant frequency poking through okay that's hardly fair I can't play chords on this guy but here's a melody and then on here So you hear they're consistently um, different. <laughs> yeah, so if you have the luxury of choosing analog versus digital, it's a good problem to have. And I'd say personally, uh, if I go for sonic quality, I choose an analog synth. If I go for precision, I go digital. So hopefully you heard and understand there's some fundamental differences between the analog and digital side of synthesis. And by kind of messing around with different parameters, we could get similar settings, yet there would be a sonic quality and a difference uh, that you'll hear.